Okay, hey guys, Miss Jesse, Studio. It's a special unboxing today. We have three boxes. We are going to have June Sci Fan Block, which finally came in like last week. Loot Crate Box, which came in last week. The reason we waited so long to do this video is because we are doing a new box this month Star Wars. Smuggler's Bounty, which just came in today, so we decided to wait and do all three of them in one video. So, just to inform you, I have cancelled out my subscription for Nerdblock for now. They're clearly still way behind, and so there won't be Nerdblock, at least for a few months, maybe the rest of the year, it's hard to say. I will be continuing with Loot Crate, and I will be doing Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty, and starting in September, yeah, September, because they just did the July box, I will have J.K. Rowling's Visiting World, and probably not August, I was hoping for August, but there's a little bit of a financial thing right now, but hopefully September, October, I should at least be trying Luke Crane, no guarantees I'm going to be sticking with that, but we're going to try it and see, but probably after the summer's over, because Fan Expo's coming up and shit, I need some money for that, so way cooler. <laughs> So we are going to go with Sci-Fan Block first, and I am going to reach in and pull this out, and it is a Warcraft doll. I've actually already seen this, uh, mostly because I've seen one or two Sci-Fan boxes, not many because it's hard to see people getting them, but I'm not really a Warcraft person, I mean it looks, does look like it's a really cool doll somebody who's into Warcraft, but honestly, not me. So we'll see what I end up doing with that. And then Joe has pulled out Hobbiton Meadow Mint Caffeine Free Tea. Once again, another thing I've seen. So it looks like I'm going to get clean boxes of other people, which I thought maybe I wouldn't because of the way the horror box went and I got things, but they weren't the same as what other people got. But I guess they did. Um, they did make all the sci fan boxes the same, even though they went out late. So yeah, so it's basically Hobbit. The low places surrounding by water supply patches of mint, which are harvested by nearly every Hobbit in the Shire. Some like the Gamgees. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong have taken to cultivating the herb in their garden plot, and have come up with a long list of medical benefits for the tea producers. Hobbiton Meadow Mint is a popular drink in the Shire at weddings and parties. Well, I'm not big on tea. I have a friend over today, and I think she might like tea. I'm not sure. Okay. I'll figure out something to do with it. I mean, I drink tea sometimes. Oh, here's something with the bubble wrap. Okay, we have, oh, Joe is going to love this one. I guarantee you guys there's something we're going to end up keeping. Let me just take it out of the bubble wrap for you guys. It is a Star Trek foldable cup thing. Hoping where it's kind of sucky there, but. USS Enterprise, and then you can see here that it's a cup. You can open it up. So it's like a water bottle. Stands, holds, freezable, collapsible water bottle. So that's, that's actually pretty cool. There we go. Uh, when it's full, it stands up, and when it's empty, you can collapse it. So that's actually pretty cool. I think Joey's going to like that. He's a huge Star Trek fan. You never have too many cups. Apparently, because we still have a million of them. And then we have a poster. And it's something a little cute, so that's pretty cool. And it comes with the horse. Okay. And it is a map. And it 
shows uh, a few teachings of the uh, language. These two parts together to hold the mouth and it can continue this symbol thing there. So, uh, I'm not going to it. But it's a mouth. Oh. Kind of and I this, don't have a book. So, this could be a mouth. And then we have uh, oh, another thing for Joe. He's going to love this. Once again, Star Trek. Starfleet Logbook. Find out if you have what it takes to rise to the ranks of the star. So it's basically pretty cool. I'll show you some pages here because it's got a, some things that you can fill in and some blank pages. And then like some crosswords, the word searches, and more blank pages, and then some things about the different people and stuff. So it's like a bit of an activity book slash um, journal type thing. So that's actually that's actually pretty cool. You might actually keep that. And then we have a pin. Never forget. Not sure the horse. <laughs> I'm not sure what exactly I'm not supposed to never forget, but I guess I will never forget. This one horse. So if you know, if you know where this horse is from, please leave it in the comments below. Oops. And then our t-shirt is Whoops. It is that. Oh, visit Regal 7 Caleb Travel Bureau. So, I mean, whatever, sure. I have no idea what it is. I Alright. Loot Crate. This is uh, July. This is July's Loot Crate. Sorry, this is July's Loot Crate. Loot Crate keeps up on them, so that was June side fan. I did not get July, I will not be getting on until 1st September or October. But this is July's Loot Crate, so they are up and we did not cut this before we started the video. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, just bear with us for a second there, guys. <laughs> Alright. You can pick the first item. Alright, we have Rick and Morty Explicit Content. Rick Peace Among Worlds Season 2, Episode 6. Uh, it says Rick Peace Among Worlds and Wish You Peace Among Worlds from Season 2, Episode 6. The Ricks must be crazy. We recreate it with giving his microverse greetings while you're displaying pleasure. And it is sealed, so I don't really want to open it. But I'm assuming that that is the thing we'll get. Will be the Rick thing. Hopefully, we all freaked out there. <laughs> and I'm going to grab this. This is Bob's Burgers DVD. I've never even heard of Bob's Burgers. So, once again. Kind of disappointed. Not disappointed per se, just more like I've never even had a box like this. So, I heard that. it's a TV series by the sounds of it. Yeah, looks like a TV series, so. Season I have no idea. So, Joe will pick the next item from the box. And it is. Oh, it is a cup holder from Futurama. One of those things you put around your can when they're cold. Cozy, that's what they're called. It's two pack cozy from Futurama. And uh, you can just put them around your cups and stuff so that they're not so cold or so hot. And it makes it easier to hold them. 
I actually have, I actually just bought one of these for Korean Expo. No, from the Comic Con in March. It was, uh, not Future Grandma, it was like Supernatural, I think. Yeah. And we have the Finn, which is Club Burgers. And then the inside of the box is, once again, Bob's Burgers, so <laughs> apparently a big Bob's Burger <laughs> thing this month, even though I still have no idea. Oh, I like this picture, I can tell you know that one. The only thing I don't like is, yeah, it is see through. <laughs> I hate that nowadays t-shirts are all see through. I, I hope you can see it as soon as you can see it. Oh, I did too. Uh, you can see it a little bit there. There's the car. And then the teenager said the meat and ninja turtle was in the car, so that's pretty cool. I'm definitely going to keep the shirt. I'm impressed with the shirt. I am impressed with the shirt. <laughs> and then you have the book, which just tells you everything that came in. T-shirt with a half-shell turtle power. So you can kind of see this shirt a little bit better. I cool. And then the Bob Burgers. Oh, that wasn't a DVD, sorry. The Bob's Burger thing I thought was a DVD actually includes 25 hand-selected hand recipes, including vegetarian options from the Bob's Burgers cookbook, printed on sturdy approximately 5 by 7 cards. They come in the box trying to look like the restaurant. So it is actually recipe cards that come in there. It's not a DVD. I'll try to explain why that doesn't say what the DVD is. And then how to build Bob's burgers. And then, oh, now you can see the the things from Future Rama. I go around the can. Keep your hands warm. And then that's what the figure will look like, just like I saw it. Which is like what they show on the box, on the box. And transform your crate. Well, apparently there's some more to the crate. Show the burger of the day. Well, that's what it claims the box to look like. Oops. I don't know. Photos, oh look, I can get 10% off the of beware, so that's awesome. Got a mega crate, and then they also came with this animation destination scene. Tune in for fun. Yeah, it's a bit of a puzzle book here. Uh, that's pretty cool. So now let's get to the loot here. So now we are on to the final box, which is Joe's box. And it is the first box. And this box is bi-monthly, which means that every month we'll get a different box because this is bi-monthly, but so is J.K. Rowling. So we get this for July. And then we'll get it again in September. Oh. Oh, because J.K. Rowling came in July, but they come in September for sure. So maybe we'll get this in the Harry Potter same we'll time. I think Harry Potter will come at the beginning of September, because I have to pay for it in August. I have to pay for that pretty soon. And then this will come probably closer to the end of September. I'm not really sure how it works. I know they're every other month, so either we'll have two boxes in September, or we'll have one in September. Two or three. I'm not really sure, but... We are doing Star Wars Smugglers Bounty Box. So, I'm not going to take anything in this. Joe is going to open it up. Open it up. This is what, what you will see. So, you start with your C3PO. Yeah, C3PO badge. And uh, 
that came with one of those searches. Each forgive me for my ignorance. I really don't remember every little character's name. And then when you open up the box properly after that, this is what you will see. No, so, we'll put this over here. That's a t-shirt, so we'll put that over there. And here we have the R5 E4 pop trigger. And you can get R5 E4 or C3PO. I guess that's all. That's all I'm showing you. Right here. Or maybe, no, that can't be all you get. That's what we got. I don't oh, know why they say that collect them all and there's only two, but no, there must be more. It just doesn't show on here. No. And then we also got the C3PO unfinished. I'm trying to get the glare there. So yeah, that's you can't really see the thing with you if I can maybe you can see it a little bit better there. So you got the two pop figures. Oh, 80 and 81. Yeah, 80 and, 81. and then you have the t shirt, which is this. And don't worry, I will be opening it. Oh, we're seeing it. And. You open up the t-shirt, and this is what you get. Oh, dear, the map. I'm not going to put it any closer, guys, because I try to, and then it gets really dark. So, this is what you get. It looks like there's two robots at the bottom there. Let me see it properly. Yeah, there's two robots. There's uh, BB-8 and R2-D2 showing off what looks like a map of the galaxy. You can see uh, R2D2 there, and I think oh. that's BB8 right there, and it looks like a map of the galaxy that they're showing off. Oh, no, it's a location of where Luke Skywalker is supposed to be in, oh. in uh, the, when the Force awakens. Oh. And one of them had the map, BB8 had the last piece. Well, of Cody had the sure, but uh -huh. it's a pretty cool shirt. Mm. I'm sure he's going to really enjoy it. So this has turned into a very, very long video, you guys. I'm sorry. 18 minutes, over 18 minutes long. Uh, so that is our boxes for this month. Uh, we are now in July, so we will have more boxes next month. Well, we'll have loot crate next month anyway. I think we'll only have the one box next month. Okay, well then, you know what? We'll see what my money situation is. Maybe I'll also try to get a loot wear for August as well to uh, offset only having one because we're not doing their vlogs anymore and Star Wars Bounty Hunter won't come in, well, the Star Wars box won't come in until September. So we're only going to have loot crates. So I'm going to try to see if I can get some loot wear or something because I know the next Star Potter Wizarding World thing doesn't come in until September. So I'm going to try to see if I can do something so we can get an extra box or something in August, because why in the, oh my gosh, we've never been down to this one before. So, that is it for now, and hopefully, um, hopefully I'll be back in this block, uh, maybe by Christmas, maybe the New Year. It's hard to say, like I said, I mean, I know my Cyphan was shipped out by the 21st when they said it would be, but I've been reading on Facebook and lots of people didn't get their shipped out by then, so, um, yeah. So it sounds like maybe some of the June boxes still haven't been shipped out, which means that some of the June ship boxes aren't shipped out, the July box has not shipped out, and it's almost August 1st now. So, it looks like July might be behind, July's behind, August is going to be behind, so they might not catch up to September or October, at least, would be my guess. So, we'll see how it goes. I might get back into New York by the end of the year, if not, hopefully January. It's really up to them on how they decide to catch up and 
hopefully not screw up again. So, yeah, that's it for now. So, bye.